This video explains how to check whether a number is odd or even using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and for these examples we first need to create a data object containing numbers, as you can see in line 2 of the code. So after running this line of code a new data object called x is appearing at the top right and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's assume that we want to identify all the odd and even numbers in this vector. Then we can apply this percentage sign operator in combination with the equal sign operator as you can see in line 5 of the code. And in this case I'm checking which of the numbers can be divided by 2. So after running this line of code a new data object called xlogical is created. This data object is also appearing at the top right and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. And now you can see that we have created a logical vector containing the logical indicators false and true. And always when this value is true, the corresponding value in our input vector is even. So in this case, the numbers 2 and 4 are even, as you can see, based on the logical indicators in our new vector object. It's also possible to use this logical vector to subset our data object and to create a new vector object which contains only the even numbers. And I'm showing you that in line 8 of the code. So in this line of code I'm subsetting our input vector x based on the new logical vector object x logical that we have created in the previous lines. And then I'm creating a new data object called x even, which contains the output of this part of the code. So after running line 8 of the code, you can see that this new data object x even is appearing and we can also print this data object to the RStudio console. And then you can see that we have created a new vector which contains only the even numbers of our input vector. It's also possible to use this logical vector object that we have created in line 5 of the code to create a vector containing only the odd numbers of our input vector. And we can do that by simply specifying a bang sign in front of the logical vector. And again I'm creating another data object which contains the odd numbers. So after running line 11 of the code a new data object called x odd is created and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that we have created a new vector containing only the odd numbers of our input vector. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.